Yo, welcome to the history of perfume, where you're gonna get a whiff of everything you need to know about perfume. Let's do it. <laughs> Episode one, the, the nose. nose. When you say nose, people straight up think it's something like, you know, a thing for smelling things. But actually, it's more along the lines of, it's some dude who studied for five years, then spent three working in the perfume industry, and who's been trained by a perfumer. Smell you, sir. Just like a Shaolin master passes down his secret, secret techniques to the best of his students. Bastard, you killed my teacher! Step one, odors. A perfumer can create and combine formulas to get a specific scent, like that, that, that. What's more, a perfumer can recognize about 3,000 odors. Only they know that this plus that equals this. Or that this plus this equals that. Which brings us to step two. Creativity! The thing is, a nose is a bit like a musician. Yeah, yeah, man. He plays notes, he drops chords, crafts melodies on this instrument. <laughs> no, not that one. Thanks, bro. In a perfumer's organ, there are hundreds and hundreds of vials containing very bizarre ingredients sometimes. Extracts from plants, animals, even rotten fruit. P.U. Then finally, step three. The formula. All the odors are alive. Which means they chemically react to each other. And sometimes, odors can literally clash. You want a piece of me? But sometimes, they really jam yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, bro. And often, in a bottle like... Your Excess. The new fragrance for men by Paco Rabanne. You'll find up to 100 different ingredients in just one bottle. So let's test our fragrance in the Grandmaster's olfactory laboratory. Paco Rabanne uses two main tools to make a good perfume. First, you'll need blotters or scent strips, if you like it fancy. And then a bowl of coffee beans, because the smell of coffee helps neutralize the smell of perfume. Otherwise, you'll get drunk, drunk as a skunk. skunk. And to make you the perfect perfume, Paco Rabanne goes to the ends of the earth to find the perfect formula. All the odors are alive! Which means they all behave differently, depending on their combinations. To begin, the perfumer tests the formula on little, little strips, strips of paper. paper. Well, maybe not that much paper. And, and then, then, afterwards, afterwards on living tissue! <laughs> <laughs> because everyone's skin has a different pH, and a perfume like Invictus can react differently on different people. <laughs> Now, we're already out of time, but if you want to know more, then, then catch, catch us in our, our next episode. episode.